welcome back to the channel uh good afternoon if you're new here thank you so much for joining if you're a subscriber and a longtime follower thank you so much for sticking around uh, i am irma mast and i know i haven't been posting recently i haven't been um keeping i've been keeping up with my comments and things but uh, i'm back i will be talking some about the thanksgiving traditions that we've had um amish thanksgiving traditions and things like that and um, I am just so happy to be back today. I know I have not been around much and if you subscribe and click the notification bell, you will get notified when I do upload. I don't have a regular schedule or anything and so I did want to update on that too. Um, most of you know that this isn't an income for me yet and so it's not a priority at this point. So. Thank you so much for those of you who have joined. Um, it takes a while to build up a community and I appreciate all of you so, so much. Maybe eventually I will make this a priority, but at this point in my life, uh, this is not a priority platform. So I am using a different, um, I'm on my iPad and I, I'm a little confused as to where I'm at. Anyways, let's just get into it. I um, had some questions concerning Thanksgiving. I know Thanksgiving has just passed. And like, what are some of the traditions we did? Or what are some of the um, things that... Um, now it's it's focusing on me, which is cool, but um, I don't know. This past week was Thanksgiving and it brought me back to a lot of the things that like what we used to do and even the things that we do now I still have contact with my family and so um, when I was younger it was crazy this we had on Thanksgiving we didn't have snow it was chilly but not even that cold and I remember plenty of Thanksgivings where we would always get a taxi and go to my great great grandfather's mother and grandpa great grandfather when I was younger and there were sometimes like snow or the roads were bad, sometimes we couldn't go, things like that. And now I think back to the past few years, it's just crazy because the roads are good. Like it's barely cold. <laughs> and so that is something that has changed. I do not like this lighting. Now I know it focuses on the back, but if I put it up here, it's just crazy how the weather has changed. I do like um, cold and I do like winter and so I think it's cool that it's I like it if it gets later till it gets cold I think it just doesn't drag around quite as much in the spring it doesn't get quite as old and if it gets um, cold in the fall so early so I am in Ohio for those of you don't, that don't know when I for as long as I can remember it was a family tradition to go to my great grandfather and great grandmother's house um, their kids they had I believe 10 ish kids and so all of their kids and then all of their grandkids and great grandkids like as far as generations would go were welcome to come to their house they usually made a turkey like several turkeys um, sometimes they had ham sometimes they had a hog roast and that was kind of the thing that was provided and then everyone else brought a dish my mom um, especially there were 10 of us kids and so she would bring a big casserole or maybe a, a you know six quart kettle of mashed potatoes or um, dressing people could bring whatever they wanted to but um, the bigger the family you would bring more like bigger dishes and maybe hot foods and so there were usually a large variety of mashed potatoes there was dressing um, corn mixed vegetables green bean casseroles um, deviled eggs all kinds of salads and pies and cook uh, puddings and um, whatever it was just a bring you know like a carry in so sometimes they would ask the bigger families hey can you bring mashed potatoes this year so that they had you know enough mashed potatoes or whatever but um for the most part they provided the, the meat and the rest was brought in so large variety lots and lots of food i think there were oftentimes between 100 and 200 people um over the years i would say it's gotten less and less just because um, great grandfather, great grandmother passed away when I was in school. I could not tell you what grades. I was thinking it was more in like lower grades even. And so the next generation lived in that same house. One of their sons um, moved, were lived in that same house. There were kind of two, like two kitchens, and it was kind of one house, but it was two um, living quarters. 
And so after they passed away, their son moved in the main main part, and their grandson moved in the other part. So we continued to go on even if um, in their house it was now at you know at my would have been my great uncle's place, but we could just continue to go to that place because that was the that was the place that it was always, always was um, it was a traditional. Um, place to get together everyone brought in meals or you know food and typically we would um, get there you know 10 10 30 11 o'clock on Thanksgiving morning and have um, all get together usually in the basement and to pray and then go cafeteria cells through all the um, a few tables of food and then they would have some tables to sit around you could go upstairs around the kitchen table in the kitchen there were usually chairs everywhere anywhere so wherever you could find a place to sit. And so most of the food was out for most of the afternoon. Um, oh, the flies sat right on the right spot. How cool is that? And then we would have games. Um, I remember like Ships Ahoy. Ships Ahoy. Um, it's not a game that I hear a lot about in the Nanamish world, but it is one that the Amish still play. It's um, the idea of Dutch Blitz. We also play Dutch Blitz, but it's like they're full size um, full paper size cards that are laminated and so you play on like four in a team you have a large table and you play on the floor like it's a big big Dutch Blitz basically and you can use 16 people to play we played that we played Dutch Blitz we played there was always rook going um, the guys would shoot um, shot that and then a lot of people would go watch and and in the one thing I really remember in the afternoon, there was someone always often made like pails and pails of slush. And in the afternoon, they would get the slush out and we would have slush. Um, <coughs> and so just games and whatever until like four or five o'clock, everyone would go home. Um, I know over the years, there's a lot less people. And, um, and now, just in this past two years, the next generation is in that house, which would be, you know, my mom's, my mom's cousin's son. So um, they said it's not, it's really not necessary that that generation makes place for so many people. Um, and so they are wanting to maybe change places within the, like my grandfather's siblings but again and then but then some of them are passing away my grandfather passed away this spring and so it's really being becoming a challenge where to have it because the first generation the people are you know are really old they don't have place for big things like that and and everyone has their own sons you know children and grandchildren great-grandchildren like my my grandfather well he passed away so my great my grandmother has great-grandchildren and so um the group gets less and less because there are so many less people because everyone has their own family things and this year they actually didn't have any for I think this is the first time that I remember that we did not have any and so I, I didn't always go um, there again our family had things um, in-laws have things and it's just it's just they didn't have it this year so that was different um, I think a very traditional is to have family gatherings this year my immediate family said, my parents said, um, hey, whoever, whoever, um, from our, my immediate family, whoever doesn't have anything planned, come over for the day. And they made turkey and, um, you know, had a good meal and played games. And, um, so that's kind of the tradition you, you, if they have nothing else, you can invite friends, but most of the time it's more of a family day. So, um, invite, you know, family and then it's games and lots of food. Uh, I would say a turkey or a ham, mashed potatoes, dressing or stuffing. I don't know the difference, but um, one of those. <laughs> Our, and then maybe pumpkin pie would be kind of the traditional, but again, there's so much variation. Um, our family loves turkey and uh, we usually eat a few turkeys. And So yeah, that's kind of the tradition that many people have. Um, I it's It's a day off, it's just a celebration of um, what we're thankful for and um, you know the end of the harvest and um, end of garden seasoning and canning season and all that so uh, it's something that I enjoy I think it's awesome how we it's a focus on a family day and um, yeah 
So I think that is all that I can kind of think of. If you have more video ideas, I would love to hear it. I will um, try to make a video every now and then. I'm not really able to prioritize it at this point in my life. I have a lot going on and I have, um, but I might do a Q&A if, um, if you have questions or anything like that or a video ideas, anything like that, I would be happy to hear them. Um, I have some ideas of maybe doing some minimalist things. So if you have questions with that, I'd love to um, know your questions. I have lived a minimal lifestyle for um, a number of years now. Um, and so I would be curious what you have want to learn or what you would be interested in hearing. And with that, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.